Welcome people of YouTube, Jack Gash here again today. Thank you for joining me and thank you for clicking on this video. So, I'm here to talk to you today about working on your relationships. Now, this for me came later on in life because I wasn't the, I was always a good person to talk to. I was always relatively nice if you was my friend, but if you wasn't my friend, and we didn't get on, then I wasn't very nice. So yeah, I'm talking from later on experience and I'm talking from past experience being not very good to current experience being really good because I can talk to anyone and I can make friends with anyone because, you know, that's the way I've engineered myself. So going from early life to where I am now currently, you know, there's a few steps along that way that I've discovered about working on your relationships with people because fundamentally, if you want to get anywhere in your life, you are going to have to work with other people. We are social creatures. We share this planet with other people. And why wouldn't you want to work on your relationships, your communication skills and how you socialise with people on a daily basis? Surely that's a positive thing. So come away from this video and maybe think about some ideas. Nobody's trying to change you here. It's all positive stuff. So, working on your relationships. I once read this script and it's obviously sunk in somewhere that I've remembered it <clears throat> for most of my days. And it's probably something that helped me along the way is that somebody said, once said, if you want to know how enlightened you are, go spend a week with your family. Now that really sunk in for me because there's never a truer statement. If you want to know how enlightened you are as a person, how accepting you are as a person, how balanced you are, how peaceful you are, how calm you are, go spend a week with your family. Because usually, on the whole, as everybody knows, at Christmas time and birthday parties and whatever, families can be difficult. Because we love these people around us, but we might not necessarily like them. So we have to find a way of being around these people that we have a close relationship with, but we're not 100% accepting of. So on your degree on enlightenment, that is measured upon how you are with your family. What a lovely statement and a nice way of breaking it down if I do say so myself. So working on your relationships is a fundamental part of being a human being because we are social creatures. And if you learn to have decent social skills, you know, accepting of other people and where their origins and where they may be from, you know, what they look like, what they may class themselves as, what they may identify as, the colour of the skin. If you're accepting of all of that, then you're going to have a very broad relationship and a broad kind of social network that you can communicate with. If you want to get anything done in life, you're going to need help. You can't do anything on your own. So it's good to make friends and it's good to get a lot of people around you and a good people, you know, with you and grouping together. Especially if you're creating a business, success, a community, whatever it may be, you're going to need people, you're going to need help because it's always good. More hands make light work. So working on your relationships is fundamental. It's a good thing to review how you communicate, how your relationships are. Because sometimes with friendships, even with partnerships, it may be a unhealthy binding that you have together. Sometimes, and I'm gonna say this with treading carefully, because I know this is a real situation for some people, sometimes children are involved accidentally and that is what's binding you. And sometimes that can be unhealthy, sometimes it can be good it can come good if you work on that relationship it can come good but sometimes necessarily for a, a child is brought into a situation by accident or you know it's kind of unexpected you kind of bound together and that's that and it's it's not the greatest of situations to be in or it can be difficult and if you haven't got a tough head on your shoulders or a tough heart you know you might break so other things that combine people together is intoxication. Some people are bound through alcohol, some people are bound through drugs or other things or other substances. You know, some people have drinking partners, some people go out getting pissed up and that's the only thing that keeps them together. You remove the intoxicant, you are probably not friends anymore. So these are good things to look at, these are good things to review in your day-to-day -day life, in your friendships because when you start boiling down who is necessary in your life for the things that you want, if you envision the person you want to be in your future, 
you've got to look at the people around you and ask yourself, would these people be surrounding me right now with that future self I want to be? Because if I want to be that person over there, that better version of myself, then I'm going to have to try and let these people go or work on these relationships so I'm not influenced by these people anymore or negatively influenced by these people anymore. Because sometimes... If you have healthy relationships and you have a healthy relationship with yourself, you can socialise with people without too much of a heavy influence on you. You're not chameleoning into an environment. You're not changing too much of yourself to be socially accepted. Because once you've accepted yourself, you accept other people as they are, you can kind of be yourself around other people, depending on how comfortable you are. I must admit, you know, I've read a couple of books about personality traits and stuff, and one thing it said in the book was... Um, we have three versions of ourselves. The, the the version of ourselves where we're on our own, the version of ourselves where we're as family, and the version of ourselves where we're in the open world and with as friends. Now, admittedly for me, my problem is the person I am when I'm on my own slips into all these other three and it's not a very good situation to be in because people think you're a bit of a woo-hoo. And that's just the truth. That is just how it is. But it's a very comfortable situation for me because I don't have to change myself too much. I don't have to worry about what people are thinking about me, but people are concerned for me because I'm just maybe look like a bit of a lunatic because when you don't care about what people think, when you are accepting of yourself, when you don't change yourself for who you're surrounded by, you do look a bit not normal because you're not normally doing what everybody else does, which is chameleoning, you know, sheltered what's everybody else doing i'll just copy them i'll just kind of mirror in here and kind of hide myself there you know be loud and proud about yourself you are a beautiful person so be you my next point about relationships is with your partners now this has to be a fundamental part in life because as a human being our sole mission or sole purpose of any kind of, if you think about the logistics of it, genitals, what are they used for? Yes, we do get pleasure off them, but procreation. That is a goal of anything that exists in life is procreation. That's what we're all trying to do. So a part of that is finding a partner. Now, finding a partner's partner can be easy for procreation, but without the essence of any kind of love, it can be a bit of a sad event. So looking at love looking at love, looking at opening up them emotions. So, you know, love is one of them scary things that people are often scared about, especially you men, you don't want to talk about love, you don't want to talk about that stuff, that sort of soft guy stuff, you know. But being in love is about making yourself soft. It's about making yourself vulnerable. It's about making yourself breakable and trusting somebody not to do that to you. Now we go through phases in life, we go through people in life that break us, that change us, that hurt us. And these are all people that are learning as valuable lessons along the way. You know, in every single situation in life, there's always a lesson to be learned. So working on your relationships is the best way of finding somebody who is suited to you because if you don't kind of review and work on any kind of relationship you don't know what you want you don't know what you're after you don't know what takes your fancy you don't know what you need because that's the important thing about relationships the reason we're in friendships the reason we're in um, loving relationships or in partnership with people is because of needs. We need something from them, whether that be an emotion that they create within us, whether that be the support they give us or the feeling they give us or the confidence they give us. There's always something that they're giving and that you're, hopefully that you're giving them. That's the exchange within a relationship, within a friendship, within a loving partnership, is that there's an exchange going on. So just review your relationships, review your friendships. Are you constantly taking off people and not giving anything back? Are you constantly giving and not getting anything back? Look at that, you know, doctor it. Work things to how you would like them to be. If you can find a way of working with your social network around you, getting on with your family. Like I said in the start of the video, the, the family point is one of the hardest ones and it's one of the most growing ones. That point where you've, become, you've gone from a child to an adult 
and your parents don't even understand it, understand you whatsoever. You've got your own, own thing going on and they just, you know, what's going on with our Jack? Fucking hell, he's got these fucking things hanging from his head, you know, a bit of a fucking weirdo now, you know. People don't understand you and your parents are one of them people that when you change from child to adult, they won't understand you. There'll be certain th viewpoints that you clash on. There'll be perspectives that you kind of don't agree on. There'll be things that you don't see eye to eye on. And how you kind of structure that and how you help them become, to, how you help them gain a level of understanding and how you help yourself gain a level of understanding will build your social skill, will build your relationship skills. It's all about, all about becoming people, a people person, if I can get my words out, a people person, somebody who can work with different people. That determines how successful you are. That determines how effective you are. If you can relate to as many different people as you can, how many people can you affect? How many people can you change? How many people can you help? That's the important thing about life. We're all here together. We're all sharing this planet together. We're all sharing this life together, this phenomenon. What the fuck is actually going on? Yeah, we're sharing that wonder all together. What is the true meaning of it all? Yep. We're sharing that too. So, as I always say on this channel, peace and love to anybody watching this. I've got loads of ideas coming up. I've just took a little break, just kind of not pressuring myself to make a video and just kind of waiting until an idea pops up, clicking record and just uh, rambling on. So, thank you for joining me on this one. Cheers.